Hey everyone, Emma from the Vault here. Welcome back to some more Animal Crossing New Horizons. And today we are going to be visiting some more random dreams. Yes, this is another random dream video. So we're going to go ahead and connect to the internet. Now, I did go ahead and put on some boots for this because you never know if we're going to be visiting somewhere that is snow covered. Plus, I feel like those like little fake Ugg boots that they have in game kind of look like the Ugg slippers as well. So we're going to do another surprise me dream. And of course, I've got my hair up a little, got my glasses on because I wear contacts during the day, but boy, do I have to wear my glasses at night. I don't know anyone who actually successfully sleeps in their contacts. That's insane. People like that are, um, how, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, psychopaths. I, I don't know how you do it or your body's just different than mine. <laughs> I mean, that could be it, too. But as we go to sleep here, I'm also wearing the bolero coat. I think it looks to me like something you would wear, like a little house coat from, like, the 1800s that a little child would wear to sleep in a fancy castle. Uh, obviously not a poor child would wear that, but what can I say? My my Animal Crossing character is is quite the, uh, the wealthy little girl. She has recently gotten over 20 million bells. And, oh, and look at that. We ended up in a place where it's going to be a little warm for this jacket, but that's all right. Now open your eyes. Where are we, Luna? Luna, where are we? We're now in a deep slumber. Atlantis, when you wish to be awakened from the dream. Yes, we know, we know, we know. All right. Holy crap, we're in Atlantis. Like the Atlantis? Ooh, okay, so we have Stina, is that how you say that? I'm not entirely sure, but we're gonna go with Tina with an S. So Stina, then we have Flora, Stitches, Ellie, Pietro, Pietro! I hate Pietro. Uh, Eloise, <laughs> Chrissy, Julian, Tia, uh, Chevre, and Opal. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so let's go ahead and get looking here. Okay, so here's my thing with Pietro. I hate clowns. I just don't like clowns. I was very, very young when I saw The Shining. Or not The Shining. I was very young when I saw The Shining. But I was very young when I saw um, It. And it terrified me. <laughs> it terrified me. And I haven't recovered from it yet. I'm sorry, but I haven't. I haven't recovered from it yet. So I will probably never recover from it because, holy shit, why was I allowed to see It? It's just an insane thing. And I still, to this day, just do not like It. I love the movie, don't get me wrong, but I hate the clown, because I hate clowns. And then John Wayne Gacy was a clown, and that scared me. So, clowns are not my thing. Oh, so Pietro, not my thing. This is adorable, and I like this so much better than, like, the beach shop I had. I like this pattern so much better, because it feels like it was just random. Like, they were on the beach, and then they put these down, and then maybe the rest got washed away or something. I love that. That's a really cool idea. Also, wait, what's going on here? Is that a hermit crab model? Okay, I've got to start doing more things with Flick. That is so cool. I love that. Also, you may have noticed, yes, I stopped to take my picture in front of this as we were talking about it. Just because that is so cool. I really like the way that looks. Alright, so let's go through here. Looks like we can't jump over there, so we're going to have to get over there some point. Blue, I would say, is this person's favorite color. I am definitely... I, I am the weird person in the world who does not love the color blue. I don't understand people's love. Oh my goodness! What is this? We are back. Let's go ahead and continue on. Alright, so it turned out the pup needed to go outside, which is fine. That's a good reason to interrupt your mom recording a, an Animal Crossing New Horizons video. So we're gonna go ahead and check this out. Look at this little campsite area. This is adorable. I really like this. This is really cute. I love how it feels so, like, it feels so, like, laid back and beachy, but at the same time, I really, really like this flooring. I know I mentioned it before earlier, but it just looks like it disappears into the sand. There's something so cool even about the texture of it. I really like that. And look at this little area. It's like another little, another little camping area. I did this up by my camping area, but honestly, it... It doesn't pull it off quite like this. This is pretty cute using the kids' tents. That was from the winter update, and I really like this. So let's go ahead and actually, oh, what am I doing? Wrong buttons. Oh my goodness. Wrong button. All right, let's do this. Let's get a closer look at this. This is actually a really cool pattern. Like, 
Look at her. Get out of the way, Amber. <laughs> All right. Get out of the way, Animal Crossing Amber. This is a really cool look. Like, look how cool this is. I really like this. This has a really cool, like, pattern to it. And I'm really, really digging how it feels so three-dimensional, even though it's not. I like this. This is a really cool one. Sometimes those patterns, I've seen a lot of people use them. And sometimes I don't like them. But that one, that one's pretty cool. This is a really cool path, too. This one doesn't have that, um, some of them are a little bit too pixelated. So they look a little bit too much like, you know, like a fake one, a fake pattern. But I actually really like that. I love this border too. This border is really cool. There was a lot of thought that went into this island. I am really enjoying the fact that this island is not like... A lot of the islands I go to, I've discussed this in other videos, are overcrowded and they're like mine where every second of, of you know, your visit there is going to be bombarded by like something new to see and something to do. And these islands that are just a little less like done up are just so sweet to me because there's so much like potential to put other things in them still and they make me feel a little bit I don't know a little bit like ooh, I, I we could do that that's that's inspiring you know what I mean I really like the idea of kind of like seeing that and like look at this this is so cool I don't know how I would honestly ever pull something like this off because you have to use two of your inclines but stuff like this is just so cool. Like, I love that people get so creative with this stuff. We have got to go say hello to that horse. I don't know your name. What is your name, horse? You're a unicorn. Julian, this has been such a weird day, and it only is getting weirder. I mean, who even are you? Uh, it's a dream. That explains it all, except maybe the pocketbook and the carbonara. Why do you have carbonara? A little concerned about that. Gosh, I need to get more of those. I need to get so many more of these, like, uh, uh, the flick, flick uh, art, the flick commissions. There we go. Oh my goodness. I was losing words for a second. They're so cute. I love them so much. All right, so let's go back down this way. So those were the shops. Let's just real quick take a peek at our map. So let's see. Yeah, because we are way, 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 way up here. All right, so we're going to want to kind of come down. So it looks like... Actually, there might be something next to the Able Scissors, but before we do that, let's go here. Oh, so those are those hyacinth lamps, the purple hyacinth lamp, but you can turn them into blue. I really like that. Oh my gosh, look at this. This whole island is, is blue so far, but this one has a bunch of purple. <gasps> oh my god, it's a rainbow! Oh my god, it's a rainbow! Ah! I'm sorry. My little heart! My little heart! It's so beautiful! I love it! Oh, I need to do that. I need to do something like that. I need to have more creativity on my island. Oh my gosh, my island feels so uncreative right now. I love going to other islands. I love how it just makes you feel so inspired to see someone else's. Hello, Eloise! We used to be friends. You were on my island, and I miss you, but you had to leave because I had to invite someone else, and then Rodney showed up. <laughs> That's okay. Chrissy! Hello! Hi there, stranger. You're new around here. Maybe I'm new around here. I mean, who knows, right? Anyway, <laughs> it's Toad's dreamy, Sparkles. So far, it is dreamy. Man, I see why it's called Atlantis. Like, look at this. There is so much, like, there is so much focus in this one on the aesthetic. And that is so cool. I love how everybody has automatically pretty much agreed that Red's area should have something to do with piratry. I really like how aesthetic this island is so far. And like I said, it's not, it doesn't look like it's all done. I don't know if this person wants to leave it this way, if this is their final form, but it definitely feels like you could do so much more with this because there's still so many more spaces that are open. And I love that idea. I love that there is more spaces that are open. Okay, so we're on the other side now, and this looks like where we may run into Stina or Steina. I'm gonna guess it's Stina. I, I'm sorry that I'm not very good at name pronunciations. Then again, I'm not good at pronouncing anything. One thing I like about 
like games like this where you go and you see someone's god look how much time this must have took to like get all of these perfectly i i am not that creative one thing i always wonder is like how different do they play like when i go in and play like i'm always constantly oh they've got all the pictures i don't remember if i got eloise's picture before she left i want her to come back though i miss her i always wonder like how do other people play the game? Because I spend so much time, like, running around and trying to, like, build new areas and rebuild areas and tear down areas and rebuild new areas. <laughs> and I always wonder, like, do other people do that? Or am I just a little crazy about wanting to rebuild my island, just, like, every three months? <laughs> I, I change it all the time. <gasps> look at you! You look like my grandma's house! Ellie! All right. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, hey, are you trying to talk to me? And I've got my head in the clouds, little one. <laughs> little one. I wonder if this is what folks mean when they say they feel like they're living in a dream. Oh, Ellie, you look like my this looks like a grandma's house. Not my grandma's house, but a grandma's house. Some people who have nice grandmas. <laughs> Not that I can judge a grandma by her house, but you know. Oop, heart ponds. You guys know how I feel about heart ponds. I do have a few of those. Oh, look at this. This is so cute. I do feel like I need to flatten my entire island again. I, I know I've done it already once, but I want to do it again. It's just so much fun to flatten it and then redo everything. Oh, I like the way that this water connects. <gasps> oh, that is brill. I like that. That's brilliant. Okay. That is so cool. I like that. Oh, uh, we already talked to you, didn't we? Yes. Okay, we want to go talk to Chevry or Sh Chev Chevry? Chevry. I think it's it's French, right? For goat or something. I don't know. Don't even know why I think that. Ooh, you fancy. I just love having company. It's a nice way to mix things up every once in a while. La bat. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Please stay as long as you'd like. Oh, I would like to stay long, but I won't. Hey, how do you have a photo of another sheepy sheep? All right. <laughs> All right. Sorry about the weird cut. Pup is barking again. I don't know what is going on with Fred lately. I think he's feeling a little, uh, he's feeling a little weird, I think. Mom's been home so much lately with the whole pandemic stuff and... It must feel weird, you know, to suddenly be like, Hi, I am never alone. <laughs> Alright, so I'm assuming that this is Stina's house. Oh, let's see, what do we have here? Oh, we can't pick up anything in houses, that's right. Oh, I want to know what they all are! Okay. Wow, okay, this is very confusing to me. There's a bed in the middle of the kitchen and or dining room area. I don't know why there's a bed there. <laughs> I guess if you're cooking and you get really sleepy. Ooh, look at this. Okay, that's interesting. That's the end of the rug um, fabric. That's an interesting thing to put on the wall, though. I don't quite know how it works on the wall, but everything else in here is, like, gorgeous. I mean, like, look at this room. Okay, seriously. Again, this just reminds me that the way I play Animal Crossing is weird. I feel like some people play Animal Crossing to show off the fact that they are amazing interior designers. And I feel like I play Animal Crossing just to make friends that are animals and do a very poorly, very poor job of designing an island. Oh, I love this. Um, I love this wallpaper. It's such a cute wallpaper. Right now I have the winter scene one. And I love the windows idea of the wallpaper. I wish that we automatically had more windows in our houses. Because I just feel like in Animal Crossing our houses are so dark. Okay. Let's go this way. This person is like me and understands that the bathroom is to the right. Oh, what is this? It's a hot magma room. I guess you could say it's hot pink. <laughs> I'm gonna do my own <laughs> my own sound effects I want to know what's on the floor so bad what did they drop oh, I guess it's just one of those lost bags right probably 
Probably just a lost bag. I don't think anything else drops like that in the game. So it has to be a lost bag. Yeah. Okay, so just stealing villagers' bags. Don't worry, I've done it too. <laughs> I've also stolen diaries and books. If you guys have seen my island walkthrough, you know that uh, I've stolen a few of those. <laughs> oh, okay. Are those refrigerators turned backwards and used for for decoration? Oh, they're lockers! <gasps> that is such a good idea. I like that. That is such a good idea. I love this wallpaper. It's one of my favorite ones in the game. It is so cute. And I used to have it in my basement. And I'll have it in my basement once again. We get to, to spring again. Uh, but right now I have the, like, the snowflakes. But I love that wallpaper. I love the backwards lockers being used. That is so cool. That is such a good idea. I feel like there's so many, like, amazing ideas. And I miss so many of them. Like... I don't even think about them. Oh, look at the whole mermaid bedroom. Oh, I love the mermaid bedroom and I kind of want it, but I'm going to admit that I'm in the middle of redoing my bedroom right now with the ironwood set. It's just so like adult and chic and cool. And I feel like, yes, this is the set I was supposed to have. But I, oh, looking at that bed and that whole room, oh, it looks like my childhood dream. Oh, the Little Mermaid is in my veins. All right, let's go to the top. I always feel like the, the top level is usually a bedroom, but oh, it is a bedroom. It's also a bedroom. Oh, what is that, that star, like garland? I wonder if I know how to make that. I'm going to have to look that up. Also, this wall is super cool. I'm assuming it's something with the Zodiac because they've got the Zodiac stuff. That's really cool. I like that. I like the Zodiac stuff. The thing with me though is, so I'm a Capricorn and it doesn't mean anything to me. Like I don't know what any of that means. I've never really been into the Zodiac stuff, but I know a lot of people right now are. Um, I, I listen to a lot of podcasts and I hear so many people talking about their sign and like what it means. And I know that I personally think that astrology isn't real. Um, I don't think a lot of things are real though, <laughs> but I, I think it's really interesting. Like I like the idea that something could help tell me like who I am or I don't know, something like that. So I, I want to like, I want to be able to believe it, but at the same time, I'm like, I don't know what it means to be a Capricorn. <laughs> I feel like I'm probably the opposite of anything they would tell me I was. Hi, Eloise. I actually really do miss you. I didn't think I would because she's like a snobby vill villager or whatever. I think she's snooty. And I was like, I'm not going to miss Eloise. I'm so glad she's leaving. And then she left and I was so sad. <laughs> I missed her so much because she's so cute. Also, she calls you toot. <laughs> I love it. Oh, okay, so this is how you get to the airport. Okay, that is really interesting. This this is one of those islands that's like really linear. And you kind of, if you owned the island, it would be easy to get around because like you know where you're going and stuff. But it's definitely an island that as you're visiting, you like have to visit every section, which I like actually in a visiting island. I prefer that. So let's go ahead and just take a real quick look here to make sure that we have seen things before. Okay. Before I get moving at all, I think I may have hit my microphone. I apologize about that. I really like how things are like kind of color coded. I like that they chose blues for their island. I think that's a really cool idea. Right now I did a like red and white Christmas theme for my island. And I got to be honest, I don't know if that was something that I would ever do again. Like change out all my flowers. But it was really cool for Christmas just to have red and white flowers all over the island. It like brought in more of that like Christmassy feeling and Christmassy cheer. All right, so we've seen everything on the island here, which means the only thing we have left is to go back to sleep. But before we leave, I just want to say that this was a lot of fun. I like this island. This was a really cute one to visit. I definitely love visiting random islands, and I feel so inspired every time I leave a random island. And especially when I see things like, this is a really cool area, even though I know it's like over a grave, which is kind of creepy to me, um, like as a person who feels uncomfortable with the the whole death process but 
this is gorgeous. Like when they when I found the graves in the game, I was like, what the hell am I going to use this for? And I ended up just using them for um, for Halloween. And this is really cool. And what I really like about it too, and I am going to call this out. It looks like there's a photo in the top corner, um, potentially of a person in their life, maybe who passed away or someone that they want to remember. And that is so cool to me. Like this is amazing. And it reminds me of a story from a really, really long time ago. There was like this, uh, I think it was like a Reddit post way, way back in the day, or maybe it was a Tumblr um, about somebody who lost their mom to cancer, who always sent them gifts in Animal Crossing and they never played Animal Crossing anymore but when they logged in one day like randomly because they were missing their mom they realized that there were like hundreds of gifts from their mother with notes on them in Animal Crossing and it reminds me sometimes like how games like this even though people want to you know may want to make comments like oh, Animal Crossing is for babies that's the one I heard recently it's not, and it can mean so much to so many of us, and it definitely does to me, it means a lot to me. And this is such a sweet way, if that's what this person is doing. I obviously don't know, I don't know this person personally. Um, I will give you that dream code address again one more time if you wanna look, it's right down on the screen there. That is such a cool way to kind of have a remembrance for somebody if that's what it's for. Um, I don't know, I, it just, it, it blows me away. I'm. I think by now, if you guys have been watching the channel long enough, you know that I'm kind of a little bit of a sap and a little bit corny. And for me, like, emotional things are are really kind of, I don't know, they're, they're important. And this is a really amazing way to honor somebody who was in your life. And, and if, you know, if they were important to you to have them in something else that's important to you. I know, like, my Animal Crossing game... I love Animal Crossing so much and I play it so much that it would be an amazing reminder for me personally. So on that note, I promise not to belabor it anymore. We're going to go ahead and get out of here. So I will see you all back when I wake up. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching me play Animal Crossing New Horizons. If you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Do all those YouTube things. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and click on that picture of my big dumb face. That will help you subscribe to the channel. Click on that bell icon if you would like to be notified every time I post a new video. Don't forget, if you'd like to support the channel, you can click on those links down in the description. Patreon, all that fun stuff. I don't like talking about it though, so you're not going to hear much more about it. You're going to have to find those yourself. I find it an awkward conversation. We're going to go ahead and get out of here though, but don't forget, there are more of my videos. Some of those may be on the screen right now. I don't know what I put there. I do that in post. But go ahead and click any of those if you'd like to see some more of my stuff. I will see you guys in the next one. Let me know if you want more Animal Crossing New Horizons. And hopefully you guys are having a great day.